for his grace and mercy. Thanking the Lord for all things in his great name. Again, we want to greet our uh, those that have viewed this by way of social media. If you see it on Facebook or on YouTube, we thank God mm -hmm. for you. And if you are in the greater Houston area, we cordially invite you to join us in person. Yes. 16027 North Freeway. We're here approximately 10 o'clock uh, every Sunday morning. <clears throat> You're more than welcome. Also, would like to thank those of you that support this ministry. We appreciate all of your past donations. And we thank you in advance for all of your future donation. Uh, you can donate by PayPal, um, the Minister D. Bush, or you can give by way of Cash App. The cash tag is dollar sign the Church of God N H. Dollar sign the Church of God N H. Again, we appreciate all of your support. <clears throat> All right, we'd like to invite your attention to the book of Matthew. Matthew, the uh, seventh chapter. Matthew, the seventh chapter. And we'll get verse 12. You know, we're living in uh, some perilous times and people trying to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you what is going on. The Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. The Bible said that uh, the love of many shall wax cold. And evil men and seduce yourself. He said they were going to wax worse. They were going to get worse. <clears throat> there is a lack of the Holy Ghost in people today. We folks need to be filled with the Spirit of God. <clears throat> you have the Spirit of God in you, you will treat people right. Amen. There's no question about that. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 12, the Word of God says, Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, Mm -hmm. Do even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Now, if people would just observe this one verse, mm -hmm. the world would be so much better off. Now, that uh, police officer, a former police officer, because they fired him and they should have, mm -hmm. he know good and well he would not want anyone to treat him like that. He know that. He know good and well he wouldn't want anyone. If, if he has a son, he wouldn't want nobody to do that to them. <coughs> Amen. If he had a, his father. Mm -hmm. You see, if, if the police officers would just adopt this posture, everybody you pull over, if I pull over a man, I would treat this man as if he were my brother. I'm not going to yell at him. I'm not going to call him out his name. I'm going to speak to him the same way I would speak to my natural brother. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pulling this woman over. I'm going to speak to her as if I were talking to my mother. Mm -hmm. And that would diffuse a whole lot of these situations. Mm -hmm. But see, if you see me as less, the only way you can treat somebody like that, you got to see him as less than you. You have to see he's nothing, so therefore I can, he's already in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. So now I can pull salt on the wound. Mm -hmm. Let me stick my knee in his neck mm -hmm. because I think he's less than. Mm -hmm. No way, if, if you would observe this one passage of scripture, mm -hmm. Matthew 7 and verse 12, therefore all things whatsoever ye would men should do to you. Just think, do you want somebody to treat you like that? Do you think, you know, I have three brothers. I have four sisters and I would not want anyone to treat any one of them in that way. That's why I treat people. 
I, this is one of the hallmark scripture verses in the Bible for me. And I make a cognizant effort to treat everybody the way I would want to be treated. I make a cognizant effort. And that's what we, if humankind would just adopt this, I mean, I would suggest you read it every day before you leave, before you leave your house. Therefore, all things Whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. A whole lot of folks are walking around here professing to be Christian, which means that they are followers of Jesus Christ. I can't find what Jesus would have done this to anybody. I can't find what Jesus would have done this to anybody. What's going on in America today? The Bible says, Galatians chapter 6, we don't have to go there, I just quoted it. Verse 9, whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also be. See, you planted these seeds. You know, you have the nerve to talk about the, the rioting and the, the looting. Well, what do you think they did to us for years? Oh, y'all familiar with the Rosewood Massacre? They made a movie about it some years ago. What do you call that but rioting and looting? Are you familiar with what they call Black Wall Street up in West Tulsa, Oklahoma, where they destroyed a black community? What was that but rioting and looting? Mm -hmm. Now the tables have turned. Those seeds that you planted are coming up. You got to drink from that same bitter cup that you gave us to drink. And now you want to call for calm. You want to call for peace. But you didn't give us no peace. You did not enact this very verse here. You therefore in all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you. You, you burn our churches down for years. Now they're burning your stores down. Therefore, in all things whatsoever he would that men should do to you, the chickens have come home to roost. And you don't like it. But you got to drink this cup. Because now it's your buildings that's being burned. It's your cars that are being burned. Therefore, all these things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do even so to them. Never thought. I mean, they burned down the police station. They, I mean, they never meant that. I, I, I bet they never thought of that. There's so much evil and so much wickedness that the black man has suffered in this country for hundreds of years. And you know what we did through all of that? We marched and we sung. Now, folks ain't marching no more. They tired of marching because what did marching get us? You reap what you sow. Now, as I said earlier, there is a spiritual deficiency. I want you to go with me now to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We're looking at this thing from a, a natural perspective, from a fleshly perspective. But what's going on is spiritual 
warfare. Mm -hmm. This is this is spiritual. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to fight a spirit, a spirit with carnal elements. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 let, let me just <coughs> say, though I can understand the rioting and the looting, it's wrong. Yes. But it's understandable. First Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse number 3. First Corinthians chapter 12 beginning at verse 3. Word of God says, Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God Call it Jesus a curse. Watch this. And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. And that is the problem. Folks don't know who Jesus is. Because if you knew who Jesus was, mm -hmm. you would act completely different. Mm -hmm. You would have compassion upon those that are less fortunate. Mm -hmm. If you knew who Jesus was, mm -hmm. Jesus had showed mercy to people. Mm -hmm. Even when they didn't deserve it, he, he showed mercy. Yes. So, Mr. Police Officer, if you encounter a suspect and they are belligerent, once you have detained them, show them mercy. You have them in handcuffs. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus curse. And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. This is the problem in this country. We got too many folk out here that don't have the Spirit of God in. Because we can, we can look at what the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. You got the Spirit of God in you, you gonna show some love. Matter of fact, hold, hold, hold that. Uh, I'll go to Galatians real quick. Galatians chapter 5. All these hypocrites going to church. Galatians chapter 5. Amen, amen. And we'll pick it up at verse 22. See, we, we've looked at this several times, but I got to keep on repeating. So, so you can inspect your fruit. Got a whole lot of folk around here claiming they know Jesus. Claiming they're filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh they speak in some tongue. But the, the Bible says, Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is. This is the byproduct of the Spirit of God. Love. And I could take you over to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and it itemized what love is. Mm -hmm. Love is kind. Love is patient. Lo love is understanding. You hear these officers claiming they fear for their lives. Well, if you're that fearful, you need to be in another line of work. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you're so afraid, you don't need this job. Go be a janitor. There's plenty of other things that you can do. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, patience. My dad, you call yourself some Christian and don't have no patience. Look what he said. Gentleness. You handle people gently. You don't talk to people any kind of way. 
gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. That means you got control. What you saw on that video was a man out of control. The world is in desperate need of the Spirit of God. We need the Holy Ghost. Okay. Go now to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. No. And I have to say that I'm somewhat surprised and pleased that uh, these demonstrations you're seeing uh, multi multicultural you seeing white, just as many white folks out there as you are black folks. You're seeing Asians and, and, and you're seeing Hispanics. Mm -hmm. That surprised me because, you know, usually it's just a smattering of different folks. Mm -hmm. It's just us out there. <laughs> Romans chapter 8. No amazing to me that you have all of these so-called evangelical hmm. preachers. You know, I, I'm going to call some names, whatever. <laughs> Rod Parsley, you know, Jensen Franklin, John Hagee, Mario Sorelli. I ain't scared of none of it. You, they preach incessantly about abortion but won't say nothing about when a black man is murdered, an unarmed black man is murdered by police. And you are, they're silent. They're silent. But yet you claim to be pro-life. Pro-life. George Floyd was a living soul. If you're pro-life, you know, the problem is this racism is perpetuated in an overt manner in our churches. That's the problem. Look at uh, Romans chapter 8 and at verse 9. Romans chapter 8 beginning at verse 9. Amen, amen. So somebody got to say something. If you hadn't figured it out by now, I'm not a politically correct preacher. Romans chapter 8 and that verse 9, the word of God says, but ye are not in the flesh. See, like I just told you, now we just read over in Romans, uh, 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 1 Corinthians chapter 12, that you no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. This, I told you, this is a spiritual thing. This is a spiritual, we are in spiritual warfare. Amen. And you throwing bricks and, and all of this stuff, you, that's, just, that's like treating the symptoms and not the cause. Look what says now. He said, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit, well, now that, that's the caveat though. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. If the Spirit of God is, are, is, are in you, then you are spiritual. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, then you are flesh. And you are flesh. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Watch this. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he's none of his. That's why it's so very, it's so important. You need the Spirit of God. Because that, the Bible just clearly says, now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he's none of his. You don't belong to God. That's why he, he just said, that ties into what we read over in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3. No man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Spirit, but by the Holy Ghost. Verse 10, watch this now. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit 
is life because of righteousness. And we just itemize the fruits of the Spirit. You, a person full of the Holy Ghost is going to exude love. They're going to exude joy. They're going to exude <coughs> patience. But look at verse 11. Watch this now. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. That's why you, you better not get out of here without the spirit of God. That's how you're coming out the grave. That's how you're going to be a part of that first resurrection. The Holy Ghost is what puts you in the first resurrection. The Holy Ghost is what puts you in the church. Amen. Putting your name on a church roll, that don't be more put you in God's church. I don't, know. I don't know whether they do this now, but I remember as a boy, <laughs> they used to have the people come up and shake the preacher's hand, yeah. uh -huh. you know, to join church. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh, you know. You ain't in, you not in, you, you in that church, but you're not in, not in the church of God. That's all right. That's right. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead mm -hmm. dwell in you, mm -hmm. he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwell in you. See, you can, and that's the problem. Folk don't have spiritual lenses, so they can't see. That's why if I, if I, if I see Deacon Allen, he do something that I don't like. I think it's him. But no, it, it's, it's, it's bigger than him. It's deeper than him. That's a spirit that's driving them. Verse 12, watch this. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. And that folks out there living after the flesh. They think they can. You, you're not going to solve this in a fleshy manner. Therefore, brethren, we are not debtors to the flesh, mm -hmm. to live after the flesh. And that's what they don't, that's what, that's what, 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 that's what they don't understand. See, this is spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. See, I know how to deal with racist police officers. Mm -hmm. I've been racially profiled. When I see the lights, I pull over. Mm -hmm. But in the, and right then, I'm rebuking Satan. I bind that old racist spirit in you. Mm -hmm. See, I bind that thing. Mm -hmm. You might want to cut up, but the spirit of God is, is squashing that thing. Right. Right. All you can do is check. You know, mm -hmm. I'm respectful. Mm -hmm. Driver's license and reg registration, sure. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not calling him out his name. No. The spirit, because I have attacked that spirit that's in him. Because mm -hmm. it's not him. It's what's in him. Therefore, brethren, we are not debtors. We, therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, watch this, ye shall die. Jesus told Peter that. Peter was trying to solve this. Uh, Peter was trying to solve a spiritual thing with a sword. That's right. That's right. He didn't even. He didn't realize Jesus had to go to the cross. Right. Yeah, Jesus had already come to to resolve. He had already accepted his assignment because Jesus he tried to get out of it because he prayed about it on three different occasions, and then he he said, nevertheless. Not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. Amen. I mean, he prayed the Bible. He was sweating. Yes, he was. He prayed vigorously. Mm -hmm. He prayed fervently. Yes. But then he came to resolve. He accepted it. That's why he could tell Peter, put your sword up. That's right. If you live by the sword, you're going to die by it. Amen. For verse 13, watch this. Mm -hmm. If ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. Don't realize you're trying to keep this flesh here. The flesh going anyway. Amen. It's going anyway. That's right. 
For if you live after the flesh, you should die. But if you, through the spirit, watch this, do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. You mortify the deeds of the body. So you are walking around here, a law-abiding citizen, you, your, your contact with police is going to be minimal. Mm -hmm. And then, if you got the spirit of God in him, you, you can see the spirit that's in him. And you can call that thing, up, you can put him on the subjection. You can put him on the suggestion. I'm telling you, I've done it before. Seen that old demon in him, and I bind him. If you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Now, 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 now somebody going to take this the wrong way. I'm not trying to say that criminals deserve to die. That's not what I'm saying. But if you, if you live holy, you're going to minimize your contact with police. You don't, it's, that's just a simple fact. No, no, I don't know what, I think they said Mr. Floyd was uh, a sus suspected of fraud or something like that. that. There was no reason for that officer to treat him that way. But if you got the Holy Ghost in you, you're not going to be participating in criminal activities. So therefore, your contact with police will be minimized. That's why you need the Holy Ghost now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, okay, look at verse 14. Watch this. For as many, look, watch this. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Mm -hmm. You got people right here talking about we are all God's children. No, no. Mm -hmm. We're not all God's children. The devil got some children. Yes, For look, I said, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, you got to have the Holy Ghost to be led by. Mm -hmm. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For if you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. But ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit, watch this, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So, so if he got the Holy Ghost in him, mm -hmm. then he will automatically connect with the Holy Ghost that's in me. Mm -hmm. That's why you here today, Deacon Allen. Spirit of God that in you connect with the Spirit in me. But that's why you here. That's why y'all here today. Cause it's it that's it it ain't it ain't that I can sing so well or anything like that. I'm not so super talented. It's a spiritual connection. Verse verse sixteen. Okay, the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. That we are the children of God. Watch, look at verse 17. Watch this. Amen, amen. And if the children then, if children then heirs, heirs of God, watch this, and join heirs with Christ. So, so again, that's my brother. That's my sister. Mm -hmm. That's my mother. Mm -hmm. So I can't help but to treat them right. Can't help but to treat them right. If, if you have the Spirit of God in you. Okay, go to 2 Corinthians now. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Amen, amen. That's why the, the Holy Ghost is imperative. <clears throat> 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Amen, amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And uh, we begin reading at verse 3. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and at verse 3 where God says for though we walk in the flesh we do not walk after the flesh y'all fighting the wrong battle young people out there in the streets you're fighting the wrong battle it's the wrong battle for though we walk in the flesh we do not walk after the flesh 
for the watch this for the weapon of our warfare are carnal. The are not carnal, rather. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We got the best weapon they is. And it's mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. Only God can pull down a stronghold. Let me show y'all something. Uh, go to Acts. Hold, hold, hold uh, 2 Corinthians. I'm, I'm going to come back there. And put a marker there. You know, a Bible mark, mark there. Because I want to come back there. 2 Corinthians. But go to uh, Acts chapter 13, I believe it is. Let me see if that's what I'm on. Acts chapter 13. And uh, Acts chapter 13 and... Uh, And we'll begin reading at uh, Because I want to show you where Yeah, about the fifth verse Acts chapter 13 and verse 5 um, I want to show you where Paul had so much power In him Paul had the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. To where he could smoke a man With blindness let me see if that's Acts chapter 13. <clears throat> uh, 11. Uh, the 11th chapter, okay. No, 13 verse 11. Verse 11, 13 verse 11. Verse, Acts chapter 13 verse 11, okay. Now, uh, we'll we start reading at verse 9. Verse 9. Acts chapter 13 and at verse 9, watch this. Then Saul, who also was called Paul, watch this, filled with the Holy Ghost, Set eyes on him. Now, now get the get the get the caveat there. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set eyes on him. Watch this, and said, "Oh, full of all subtlety and mischief, thy child of the devil, thy enemy of all righteousness." Would thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the law? Paul is rebuking this thing. Watch this now. Look at verse 11. And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Well, look, watch this now. Behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. Watch this. And immediately... There fell, up, fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. The weapons of our warfare are not come. But notice, Paul was full of the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, we don't. Paul didn't set no building on fire. Paul didn't break in no store and steal nothing. He just rebuked that man in the name of the Lord Jesus and Paul put blindness on him for a season. We got the same power. But, but you know what? The enemy will come in and tell you you can't do it. We got the same. We got we God, God hasn't changed. He said, I changed not. Okay, go back to uh, Second Corinthians. That's why you need the Holy Ghost now. I'm trying to tell you. You, need, you got the Holy Ghost. You're not going to be out here doing no smoking no dope. You're not going to be out selling no dope. You're not going to be out here robbing and stealing. You're going to walk, as the Bible say, walk circumspect. <clears throat> so you're not going to have but very minimal contact with law enforcement. And if he start to act up, you can bind the spirit that's in him. Now, now, by the same token, if you don't have a Holy Ghost, you can't do nothing with no spirit that's in nobody. 
Because over in Acts the 19th chapter, some folks saw what Paul was doing. They tried it. <laughs> they tried it. My God, that the Bible said the devil leaped on, leaped on you and beat the clothes off of them. So if you don't have a Holy Ghost, you better hush. Don't you, don't you start trying to buy nothing. Okay, back in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, we'll just give verse 3 again. The word of God says, For we walk, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Now, I just showed you spiritual warfare. This man was full of the Holy Ghost. And, and you had a whole prophet down there cutting up. And Paul blind. Then we go a little bit later on in the book of Acts where they had a, a, a girl with the spirit of divination on and he vexed Paul and he called that devil out of her. I'm telling you, you need the Holy Ghost. My God, you call, you call the devil out of a racist police officer. You can make him act right. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapon of our warfare are not come, but mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. The only way you can effectively pull up or down a stronghold is with the blood of Jesus. That's the only way. Watch this. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Every high thing. Don't care what a position he holds. God, man, you get together and rebuke Donald Trump. Yeah, God put him in there, and it could be that he put him in there so, so a man of God can come along and cast the devil out of him. That could be God raised him up just so a man of God can come in there and cast the devil out of him. We need the Holy Ghost. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Watch this. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. I keep telling you, you can make folk. And you, 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 ain't even, you don't even have to verbalize it. Bible said pray in the Holy Ghost. Huh? I go, oh, in Jude, he said pray in the Holy Ghost. Look at verse 6. Watch this. And having a... Look, 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 look at verse 6. Hey, boy, this thing, bless, this, this bless me. I read this this morning. Watch this. And having a readiness, watch this, to revenge all disobedience. Having, but not, but God had a Holy Ghost now. Mm -hmm. and, and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your, when your obedience is fulfilled. But you got to be right now. See, this, we have access to all of heaven resources. But the saints just don't use them. But we have access to it. But we don't use it. <clears throat> and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. I can remember one time when I was a little boy. A man had beat my grandparents out of some money. And my grandmother, she said, that's all right. You done went too far. And I'm going to go to God on you. And you're going to see the hand of the Lord. And I'm telling you, that man went, I mean, just thing after thing began to happen to that man. And having a in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. The weapon of our warfare has not come. So I don't want to put no. Mm -mm. I can show you in the Bible where Paul turns some men over to Satan. Mm -hmm. We don't realize what we have. We and we. You, we don't use the rep. Can't nobody press charges on God. Let God look, look. All right, Lord, you see them. They not acting right. I turn them over to you. Release your wrath on them. Who going to arrest God? 
So you go out there and do something, they can arrest you. And you did it so it's not justified. You did it so they're going to arrest you. All of this stuff these people are doing, that's criminal damage to property. And if it's over a certain amount of dollars, it's a felony. <clears throat> and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. And I can call, I can call God and tell the Lord. I mean, you imagine me, old police officer, he out there acting a fool, and then the, a man of God put blindness on him, and he not he can't even see. What you think that'll do to his partners? <laughs> oh my Lord! <clears throat> and having all readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Now you got, but you got to be in the will of God. Mm -hmm. You got to have the Holy Ghost. Look at verse 7. Amen, amen. Amen. Okay, okay. Do ye look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think again that he is Christ. Even so we are even so are we Christ. So once we, we understand, look, I belong to Christ. So the protection. I, I, I am entitled to God's protection. Okay, I gotta get ready to let you go. Let me give you one more scripture. We're gonna get out of here. Ephesians now. Ephesians. Amen. Amen. Ephesians uh, <clears throat> Ephesians chapter uh six. Ephesians chapter six. Let me get verse twelve. Let me get ready to let you go. <coughs> Ephesians chapter 6 and in verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6 and that verse 12. Amen, amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. All right, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 and the word of God says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now, we've got to understand that. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is spiritual warfare. Because if it was flesh and blood, oh, if you just go punch him, that'd be the end. Of it. That'd be the end of it. That's right. But that's not how, no, no, no. <clears throat> There's a spirit that's in them that's driving them to do what they do. And either you have the spirit of God or the spirit of the devil. <clears throat> One or the other. Because the, you know, every time the Bible talks about. They say a different person, he was full of the Holy Ghost. If, he, if something is full, can't nothing else go in. <clears throat> Either you full of God or you full of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not the white man. It's the spirit that's in him. <clears throat> but against principalities and powers. Yeah, we, we, we got, see, we, we got a, 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 a just a straight up idiot in the White House, but he, the, the spirit that's in him. That's right. <clears throat> the man, he, he's allowing the devil to use him. That's, <clears throat> that's the devil. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Don't you know, if, if somebody could go out there... <clears throat> And if you sh sh shoot somebody, that's not going to get rid of that's, that racist spirit is still there. And the only way you can get rid of a spirit is with the spirit of God. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. That's what we're fighting against. Amen. And I go, but I, I'm, I'm just going to stop right there. But, you know, because we, we looked at this before. They tell you to take on the whole arm of God. 
you go, don't leave out your house undressed. Put on the arm of God. You know, the, the helmet, that's to protect your mind. You got the, 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 the shield where you can ward off this stuff. You can, you can, it, it won't even get to you if you use your shield, right? It won't even get to you. Amen, amen. We thank God for you. We thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus. I hope I said something to help somebody. Praise the Lord. Amen.